Brigade Falcha, Hig and Tarange, and the Clay of Isna Groupie, E. Grave Naharan, Agus E. Goran Talshan. You're very welcome to the draw for the group stages of the Alarnan series, the Sam Maguire and the Talton Cups. We're all looking forward to this new format, but for those who are not sure what it's going to look like, here's a short reminder. The 2023 GAA Football All-Ireland Senior Championship has a brand new format with more games than ever before and even more to play for. Two tiers, two trophies. More action and bigger rivalries. Following the provincial championships, 16 counties will compete to lift the Sam Maguire Cup and 17 teams will battle it out for the Talchin Cup, which returns after a triumphant inaugural year. This will be a championship like no other. The group stage of the Sam Maguire will be contested on a round-robin basis. The four provincial champions and each runner-up will make up the first and second seeds. The remaining eight spots will be awarded to the highest ranked teams at the conclusion of the Allianz Leagues and seeded on this basis. With one exception, last year's Talchin Cup winner Westmeath will take up their rightfully earned place regardless of their league ranking. If not already qualified, they will replace the lowest ranked team. Each team will play three games, one home, one away and one neutral. The top team in each group will advance straight to the quarterfinals. Second and third place teams will battle it out in the preliminary quarterfinals. The winners will advance to the semi-finals and final, where the All-Ireland Champions will be crowned on Sunday, July 30th. The teams who don't qualify for Sam Maguire will compete to lift the Talchin Cup. The competition format mirrors the Sam Maguire, with one exception. If New York do not qualify for Sam Maguire, they will enter the competition at the preliminary quarterfinal stage, replacing the lowest ranked third place team from that group. From here, all roads lead to Croke Park for the semi-finals and the final on Saturday, July 15th, where the winners will lift the Talchin Cup and be guaranteed a spot in next year's Sam Maguire Cup. 33 counties, 72 games. The 2023 Football All-Ireland Senior Championship. These are our counties, these are our colours. GAA, where we all belong. Yes, we are all looking forward to this draw and to the championship. And today's draw is sponsored by AIB, Allianz and Super Value as well. Well, I'm delighted to be joined for the draw by Uktaran Khamaluk Laskale, Laris McCarthy and former Leash footballer Ross Munley. You're both very welcome. Thank you very much, Claudia. Larry, it's a big day for the association. How excited are you for this new championship format? No, it's a massive day for the association and it's a tremendously exciting format. 72 games right through to the heart of the summer huge opportunity for people to play and huge opportunity for fans to see their counties in the championship. We saw the scenes last year, Ross, with Westmeath winning. I mean, you'll be hoping, obviously, that Leash will do well this year. What are you looking forward to the most about this co competition? Yeah, I think it's the fact that the group stages are going to bring excitement. It's guaranteed games for teams, and it's going to be a long old road to whoever gets to lift the Talton Cup. And as I say, Westmeath uh, played with style last year, and they celebrated with style. So they've left the perfect template for someone to follow <laughs> now. I know, well, yeah, winning at first, that's the big thing. OK, let's explain to everyone, our viewers at home, what will happen. So on the table, as you've seen, there are four bowls. These four bowls contain teams seeded based on their finishing positions in the Allianz Leagues. On Turk Theron will select four teams from Bowl 1, each of which will enter into a different group, starting with Group 1, followed by 2, then 3, and finally Group 4. Once completed, he will select four teams from Bowl 2, which will again enter the groups in sequence. Then Ross will select the four teams from Bowl 3, which will enter the groups in the same fashion, before drawing from Bowl 4 and selecting the final participants in each group. Each group will feature four teams consisting of a first, second, third and fourth seed. New York, they will enter the Talton Cup at the preliminary quarterfinal stage. And to note, teams that have already played each other earlier in this year's championship, they can be drawn into the same groups. And just before we get going, we also note that Fergal McGill, Director of Club, Player and Games Administration here at the GAA, he will be overseeing the draw and making sure that we do nothing wrong. So we welcome Fergal as well to this. Let's get started then, lads. So, Larry, if you want to give it a good turn around the bold one, if you want to give that a good twirl, and we'll take out the first team then that will be playing in the Group 1. First team in Group 1, Grania, is Cabin. So the first team out then in Group 1 is Am Calum. So second team out that will be playing in Group 2 is... On V. On V. So Mead will go into Group 2. 
Group three, then our next team will be. Limnock. So Limnock will be the first group playing in group three. And finally, then, we should know who this is. And this group, this team will be. Fermanagh. Fermanagh. So that's the groups, the first teams out for group one, two, three, and four. So if we move on then to bowl two, then. So these are the seeded two teams. And first up here is. Offley. So Uvalia is this first team out there for group one. Next up is. Undoon. So Undoon will there, disappointed after the recent weekend, but they are now focusing on the Talton Cup. Coming up then is. Wicklock. So Kilvantine then is the second team in Group 3. And the last team out there for Group 4 will be... Antrim. Antrim. So Farbanach Agus Antrim, two Ulster teams then pitted against each other in Group 4. So we'll move on then to Bowl 3. So Ross, if you want to do the honours, again a good twirl around first of all. And the first team out here will be... Very familiar with this team. Leash. Leash. So we'll get you'll get your reaction. You'll be getting a few texts, I'd say, after this, Ross. So next team out here. Tipperary. So Tipperary Aaron and Shin Kamai. So our third team out then that to go into group three will be. County Longford. So on Longford and Shin in Group 3, and last but not least from Bowl 3 and third team in Group 4 is... Wexford. So Luck Garman will go into that team. So we move on to the fourth bowl then. These are the fourth seeds, consisting of Leitrim, Carlow, Waterford and London. And the first team out here is... London. So London are the final group in that group one. Next is... County Waterford. So Port Larga. So in group two then, with Tipperary, they're, they're Munster rivals. A third team out from bowl four, and that will go into group three is... My neighbours from Carlow. So Carlow and Shin. So Carlow, Longford, Wicklow, and Limerick. And last but not least, the final team to make up Group Four is Leitrim. So Leitrim come out there. So for Mana, Antrim, Wexford, and Leitrim in Group Four. Group Three: Limerick, Wicklow, Longford, and Carlow. Group Two: Meath, Down, Tipperary, and Waterford. And Group One: Cavan, Offaly, Leash, and London. So a few local derbies there, Ross. What's your reaction first of all to that? Yeah, straight away from my own county, Leash uh, playing Offaly is going to be a very exciting one. Uh, that always draws a big crowd. So uh, really, really looking forward to that. And then you've got near neighbours as well, Carlow and Wicklow in. Group three, so lots and lots of derbies available, and I think uh, the crowds should be good at all these games. Absolutely. What about you, Larry? Well, you have a, a local derby up in Antrim between Fermanagh and Antrim, for mm -hmm. instance, up in Ulster. Sorry, between Fermanagh and Antrim, and of course I have to keep an eye on, on, on London. They're in with Cavan, Offaly, and Leash, and that'll be an interesting, um, an interesting group. I would suggest to you because somebody's going to have to go to London, obviously. Yeah. So lots of games to look forward to. We'll not ask you for predictions yet. We'll leave that for a later date. But Ross and Larry got a mind get us and Tharing Chin and Yellow Lynn. So we're going to take a short break here from the Talton Cup, but we're going to move on now to the Sam Maguire, which is coming up now. The group stage of the Sam Maguire will be contested on a round robin basis. The four provincial champions and each runner up will make up the first and second seeds. The remaining eight spots will be awarded to the highest ranked teams at the conclusion of the Allianz Leagues and seeded on this basis. With one exception, last year's Talchon Cup winner West Meath will take up their rightfully earned place regardless of their league ranking. If not already qualified, they will replace the lowest ranked team. Each team will play three games, one home, one away and one neutral. The top team in each group will advance straight to the quarterfinals. Second and third place teams will battle it out in the preliminary quarterfinals. 
the winners will advance to the semi-finals and final, where the All-Ireland champions will be crowned on Sunday, July 30th. So you're welcome we're back we're going to start now for the sam mcguire cup the draw for that so this is going to be similar to the earlier draw and as before we have four bowls on the table so bowl one as you can see contains the first seeds the provincial champions bowl two contains the second seeds who are the provincial runners up bowl three is the third seeds who are the four highest placed teams from the 2023 20, alliance leagues who have not qualified for the provincial finals and that is mayo roscommon tyrone and monaghan and the fourth and final bowl consists of the fourth seeds the next three Three highest placed teams from this year's Allianz Leagues, Donegal, Cork, Kildare, and they are joined by Westmead, the 2022 Talton Cup champions. So it is important to note here that teams who are due to meet in the provincial final, seeds one and two, cannot be in the same group. However, teams who have already played each other earlier in this year's championship can be drawn in the same groups. And indeed, Fergal McGill, the Director of Club, Player and Games Administration of the GEA, is here to oversee this as well. And any possible conflict or clash that can, is not permitted, he will step in and tell us what we're to do. OK, so delighted to be joined for this draw by Paddy Andrews, our GEA goal pundit and former Dublin footballer. How are you, Paddy, first of all? Looking forward to this? I am indeed, yeah. I think there's fascination from everyone. With the new structures, the championships have been really good to date, the provincial championships, but I think it's going to ramp up a gear when the All-Ireland series starts in a couple of weeks' time. So I think a lot of interest of parties around the country. Yeah, you haven't been getting any texts from anyone from Dublin. I have. The phone has been <laughs> happening for the last couple of days, so hopefully uh, we'll see what comes out of the we'll world. see what comes out, if they'll be happy with you or not. <laughs> Larry, what are you looking forward to this too, of course? Uh, obviously, yeah. I mean, the, the, the sheer number of games and the opportunities for people to see their, their counties play right through the, the heart of the summer is, is absolutely brilliant. It gives so many teams so many games, which is what everybody mm -hmm. is looking for. Yeah, hopefully the weather plays well as well, so we have well. some nice sunshine as well to enjoy these games. But anyway, let's begin um, the draw. So, Pat, um, Larry, if I can ask you first of all, please, just to take out the first team from um, the first bowl. So in group one then, the team out here is... Monster winner. So the monster winners, which will either be Kerry or Claire in Group One. Next up, Connacht winner. So the Connacht winner, and again, provincial finals coming up over the next weekend. That would be the winner of the Galway and Sligo clash. Leinster winner. The Leinster winners then in Group Three. So that will be either Dublin or Louth. And last but not least. Ulster winner. My own province. So the winners there of Armagh or Derry will be playing in group four. So we'll move on then to bowl two, which are the provincial runners up in this bowl. So first up here in group one will be... Leinster runner up. So the Leinster runners up. So that will be the runners up for the provincial championship, championship between Dublin and Louth. Ulster runner-up. So next up is the Ulster runner-up, which will either be Arma or Derry. In Group 3... Connacht runner-up. So the Connacht runner-up, and again, the teams either be Galway or Sligo will be in here. And last but not least, in Group 4... Monster runner-up. The monster runner-up. And again, that will either be Kerry or Clare. So thanks, Larry, for that. We move on then to Bowl 3, Paddy, and this is for the seeded three teams. First up here that will be in Group 1 is... Oh, National League champions, Mayo. Mayo, so interesting group already there. Group 2 then, next up here, will be... All-Ireland champions from 2021, Tyrone. Yeah, Chiron in Group Ado. Group three then. County Ross Common. So Ross Common and Shin in Group Three. And last but not least, from the third seed group will be Cronia. <laughs> County Monaghan. Moynihan, yeah. Myself and yourself mightn't be allowed back into the county <laughs> party after this draw, but we'll soon see. Moving on then to bowl four. So these are for the fourth seeded team. So they are first up is Cork. So Corky and Cade Canamanshin. 
Larry's happy ish. <laughs> Group two then. Talton Cup winners, Westmead. So on Irby goes into group two there. Group three. Kildare. So Kildara in group three. We're excellent against Dublin there at the weekend. And last but not least, a complete group four is. Donegal. Donegal. So that is the group. Four, three, two, and one in the team. So just to reiterate, the Munster winners, Leinster runner up, Mayo and Cork. Group two is the Connacht winner, the Ulster runner up, Tyrone and Westmead. Group three, the Leinster winner, Connacht runner up, Ross Common and Kildare. And group four, Ulster winner, Munster runner up, Monaghan and Donegal. Paddy, where do you even start? I think it's a lot of interest. The Mayo, obviously, National League champions, surprisingly beaten by Ross Common a couple of weeks ago, but. I don't think any team was looking forward to having Mayo drawn in their pot, but um, look, there's going to be some brilliant games there. And we'll see after the next couple of weekends who are the provincial champions as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I'm immediately drawn to the potential of Group 1. You could potentially have Kerry, Dublin, Mayo and Cork in that, in that group. <laughs> that would be a fascinating collection of yeah. teams, I would suggest to you, you know. And then the Ulster, the Ulster dominated group, arguably, by the Ulster winner, mm -hmm. Monaghan and Donegal in Group 4, throwing the Munster runner-up, which could be Kerry as well. Um, and that's a great group. Yeah. Well, there's lots of games. We're going to be lots of chat about this over the next few weeks or so. But the CCCC will be issuing fixtures confirmation, probably the first round anyhow, this Friday the 5th of May. But my thanks to everybody who is with us here um, this afternoon for the draw. Thank you for watching. The best of luck to all the teams in the championship. But from all of us here, until next time, slán and take care.